but I forgot to mention then uh, after replacing the caps you have to rotate the engine and make sure then rotates freely with no effort at all which I already did it does rotate freely and another thing is to make sure then the caps over here see the caps over here you see them there completely sealed if you see them there open there is something wrong so make sure then they're completely sealed if they're open make, uh, there is something wrong maybe they're backwards or you didn't install it properly and just make sure that the arrow is pointing to the front all of them before doing anything else if the arrow is pointing to another direction uh, repair that otherwise you're gonna have a catastrophic damage to, to the engine um, all right so I'm gonna continue with the main caps and I'm gonna get back to you as soon as I finish doing that I did torque all the uh, main cap bolts so as you can see the same way you have to mark the uh, bolts on the rods the same way you gotta mark the main cap because you're gonna give the half turn so uh, it is right here zero here is 90 and here is 180 so remember that after the uh, 184 pounds uh, which is gonna be the freeze step remember freeze step uh, 180 pounds uh, well actually the first step is like uh, the hundred pounds and then the second step will be 180 pounds the third step is 90 degrees and the fourth step is another 90 degrees so it's this equals around 500 pounds of torque which is a lot for these small balls but that's the way uh, DD15 and DD13 and DD16 engines are uh, with the, the high torque uh, on the bolts. Anyway, uh, after replacing the main bearings very important to do is rotate the engine from the back on the little window service plate and has right there at the uh, bell housing um, it has to be soft, really soft but after that I would recommend you to do the alternator test which is this one, you have to grab a 15-16 or a 24 millimeter and a ratchet, just a medium sized ratchet to rotate the engine. The engine gotta be soft enough to be rotated by the alternator. You can see, this engine rotates with no problems. See? If you do an engine, if you do the main bearings or something, um, and you try to rotate the, um, the alternator, uh, and the engine doesn't rotate at all that means that there's something wrong it has to be soft and if you have a functional engine and you try to rotate it uh, from the alternator and it doesn't rotate that means there's something wrong as well so the old suction module got damaged as you could see at the beginning of the video uh, so I will need to install a new one here is the part number of the new suction module um, and I have a new oil pump. The old oil pump was running okay, but still I'm going to replace it because it is good to replace it every time you uh, do service to the main and the rod bearings or you do an engine. So it is good to replace it. I mean, you can reuse it if you want, but it's always better to replace it. So I'm going to uh, put everything back together and then I'm going to start the engine to see how it runs. But uh, before that, I'm going to show you how to um, prefill the oil system on uh, DD15 engine or DD13 and DD16 are the same. Okay, now to prefill the system. The old um, system of a DD15 uh, engine, DD13 and DD16, requires to be prefilled before uh, you uh, start the engine after doing. A major service like replacing the oil cooler um, engine uh, main bearings or the whole engine completely um, it requires to use a special tool then goes right here this one is the one then uh, then connects to a primer pump for uh, oil and then it goes to the whole system um, 
pre-filling and removing the amount of air that is in here because in between the oil cooler and the main bearings and all the other stuff pretty much is like one gallon of oil then is all over the engine so um, the oil pump will take a little longer to fill all the system and this will result in an engine damage so that's why Detroit recommends to um, pre-fill the uh, oil system now I'm going to demonstrate you how to do it if you don't have the tool if you have the tool well it's easy you just buy this little um, um, nipple over here and you remove that little plug and then insert this one and then use the pump and that's it nothing else to do but if you don't have the tool you don't know what to do so I'm going to show you how to do it so freeze we have to remove the oil filter from there this is a Baldwin filter next is to install a new filter this is the part number this is a lower finer filter I use this because this is what I have in my area but you can use any type of filters like Donaldson uh, OEM Detroit or any other brand that is a uh, good brand so to prefill the system here is what you're gonna do I'm going to insert just the filter without the cap the cap is right there the filter I'm going to insert it in here I'm gonna take it all the way down until it clicks you hear now it clicks it doesn't move doesn't go out you're gonna leave it like that see it is all the way down so don't install the cap yet now with the filter in there it's time to apply oil like this I'm going to apply oil until it gets filled until you can see the level all the way to the top of the filter see it takes like a three quarters of um of oil to get fuel now you can see the oil level is coming see coming up until it gets to the top all right so now we're going to place the cap and close the uh, filter I want to add a little more all right now I'm going to place the cap and close the filter and now the cap is on place it's tight and secure so and that completes the job of pre-filling the system uh, see this is the amount of oil that went inside the housing and the uh, oil suction mold and other uh, passages uh, through the engine so that's why you need to prefill it because it's some uh, amount of oil that it needs to be prefilled before of course if you use the machine to prefill it the oil will go all the way to the main bearings but remember then i am not showing you this uh because uh you have the tool i'm showing you because maybe in many cases people don't have the tools to do it so this is the way to do it if you don't have the tool if you have the tool it's easy you don't have to do any of this but if you don't have it there you go this is the way to pre-fill the DD15, DD13 or DD16 engines after a main bearing replacement. So I'm gonna be using Rotella T5 synthetic blend 10W40 to fill the engine with oil. Uh, this is my preferred oil. Um, of course you can use whatever you think is the best, but to me this is one of the best. 
Um, I use it for all the engines, including the D15s, D13s, and D16s, and they work really well.